Hey guys, welcome back to Shadestown. I am going to finish up this entranceway to the uh, emerald farm and stuff today. To start, I want I added these redstone lamps as kind of path markers to get back here. And I want to set up a system where they will flash. So let me show you how I've planned out to do that. I've actually built a couple of them already. So we'll place a redstone torch to turn it on there. And how about right there? Let's go off of that. I've tried a few different designs and having them stay off and then flash on every now and then, like flash on and off real quick, uh, I think has looked the best. So I just posted a couple tutorials, one of them being a random clock and I will be using the first half of that on this system so to do that we place a comparator that comes out of a hopper that points down into a dropper directly below it just like that and in that dropper we place oh whoops hold on We'll place um, a non-stackable item, and it's worked out best to have three stackable items and one non-stackable item in that um, setup right there. And then over here, we just make a simple two hopper clock that goes directly into there. like so and throw an item in okay now we need to put if you notice it's flashing all the time in fact so fast that it hardly turns off we want to make that more of a random flash so we need to use the comparator by bringing a redstone signal into the side now it will stay off until this hopper is completely full which means we need to put four more unstackable items in this top hopper like so and now you can see it flashes on and off just like that so let me go ahead and finish doing all four of those well I think there's more than four but let me finish doing all of those and I will see you in a minute alright got those done let me show you how they look I think it's looking pretty good so you come in and I actually have three right here at the beginning to kind of catch your eye as you come in but then as you coast in you can kind of follow them through the swamp area so you go up to this one come through and there is a chest to avoid I gotta move that and there's our house now I wanted to do a little bit of something with this house. There's a house on the ride that the light inside the window kind of lights up if I remember right. So I kind of want to do that here. And I was going to do it just inside of this room. So I had a couple ideas. First, let's see how it looks with stuff behind the windows. I think that looks okay. And what about when they're lit? Mm, we'll we'll go with it. I think it'll look okay, especially since you you'll never be like on the porch right there. We'll be fine. Okay. So this is kind of a similar setup, only this one I want to utilize the T flip flop system and I'm trying to think how to get it to fit in this little space actually let's see if we put that there that'll light those 
and if we do the T flip flop right here um, I did post a tutorial for this design as well on my channel so if you kinda wanna see the simple mechanics of how this works uh, go ahead and look at that tutorial but let's put this there with the torch there that's not how it was it's got a dust right there okay okay so that there that there is that how I was thinking? No, that's exactly how I just had it. <laughs> and that there. Throw an item in. Throw our comparator right there. And put our system like that. Put that in there. Let's put now this one I really want to be slow. I don't want it to flicker on and off a lot. So I'm going to put all nine items in there. Let's see what else can I put right there. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, looks like we grabbed, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then our two half slabs with our comparator there. There we go. This is going to work, I think. Redstone torch there, like that. Now it should turn on. There we go. Okay. We're looking good. Then this, break that off. and put it right here with a torch and that should be all we need oh looks like we got there we go there we go so now this one's different than the others in that the light can stay on for a random amount of time uh, instead of just flicker at a random interval so see now it's still on for a while so let's jump out and see how that looks see a couple torches can we hide those not really let's see now the windows are dark and they're still dark which is kinda good I kinda wanted it to be slow Andre doesn't sit there and flick on and off the light real fast oh now the lights are on Okay. I'm good with that, especially at night it might look real good. If you've noticed, I moved the torch over. In fact, I kind of want to blend that wall a little better now that I did that. Oh, if I can jump. Come on. You can do it. You've done it 30,000 times. There we go. Um, let's put a couple blocks in here to blend out that wall. There we go. Now it's not such just a bleh right there. So I still need to get that clock on there too. Okay, but yeah, that looks good. That looks a lot better. Okay, and then it, so at night, you know, it'll light up and go dark, which I think will look pretty cool. If I get tend to get um, some lag here, which I don't think I will right now. There's only me and my wife on the server, but um, if I do, I'm going to set all these up so that they only flicker and the clocks are only going at night. Um, and then I might even do a tripwire hook where they only go at night and if someone is riding on the trail, or not trail, but you know, riding the boat down the goalie or whatever. So I have two other things planned for this area. The first one I wanted to do about there should be good. Um, 
whoops, took out a lily pad. Let's put that back. Um, so the first one I wanted to do, you've probably seen, I don't know if I've shown my little work area over here, but you might have seen this. And this was a little test to see if I can add a water sound. That sound right there, you hear it? I think it'd be cool if you're kind of, you know, floating through the bayou and you hear that little water sound. So what I'm thinking is going underneath, probably from here forward. We don't need it clear out there. Something like this. So if we make a trench, that will be... Hmm, if we do it with this sand, we'll need it to be three deep. Grab a bucket of water, let's get some dirt, and let's take a breath. I should go get my helmet, my diving helmet. Okay, something like that, and then place a bucket of water right there. Yeah, see, I think that that add a cool little effect. Uh, just as you're coming along, just add a little sound effects. So let's finish that. Okay, so now we got a little of that going. I did want to. Let's see, do I have any in here? I have one. A little bone mill. And do I have any oak? wood. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. I want to add a little tree kind of in front of the shack. Like right there. Maybe up one more. Let's try to grow a tree right here. There's just too much um, emptiness right here so if I can grow a tree hopefully six bone meal will do it come on do it yeah oh it's small though we don't want a small tree okay let's go make a uh, hatchet and god I I just know them as hatchets sorry guys they're axes but I just call them hatchets I don't know why. I guess because I, I wouldn't use an axe. I'm a chainsaw kind of guy for big wood. <laughs> Something. But let's take this guy out. I don't think there's anything that would block it. Maybe something over there. Let's look at that tree. Are you too close? No. All right, our solution, should it choose to work, come on, give me a sapling, 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 sapling. There's one, is let's plant the tree off of that. Give it some room to grow. <laughs> I doubt it grows in two bone meal, but we'll try. And grow! Grow! Nope. Not that lucky. Okay, we'll come back to that. Might be kind of weird looking unless it grows into a big tree. We'll see. We'll let that grow and, and see what happens. Might need to add some leaves and stuff. Okay, now I have one last thing planned, and the thing I want to do <laughs> is to add some of the guitar music to this shack, or not guitar, excuse me, banjo music, and he plays two songs, and one of them is uh, Oh Susanna, I think. 
and the other one is oh god I don't know the name I can think of the melody uh, I'll have to look it up for you I'll put it in the description but I want to put it on note blocks so that when you're over here you can hear it and you know what I really don't like I kinda like the whole but I need access to this area over here I need to put note blocks under here so we're gonna build over for a minute and dig down I uh, don't need that don't need that let's pick some of this up and do I have torches let's put some torches so I don't have to deal with mob spawning while I leave I need to get some wool and wool I have redstone I have repeaters I'll need more repeaters than that I, th I think I need a ton of repeaters so let's go get geared up and we will come back to this you know I kinda want this one to blink a little more yeah that one's definitely not blinking enough so let's jump down there and increase the odds that it'll blink let's increase um, one more yeah there we go okay I'm stuck I'm stuck there we go okay that should blink a little more uh, what's the easiest way to get we need to go don't need dirt I have so much dirt from that terraform um, hopefully that video was entertaining for you guys the job wasn't very entertaining but I really wanted the swamp to open up it was too much land um, if you remember a lot of the purpose for that is practical um, if you're following Doc M at all he's uh, building his witch farm right and he's flattened a huge square out of the area uh, and he's gonna flood it with water and the uh, theory behind it is doing so prevents um, slime from spawning which can interfere with your mob cap so if you go AFK your farm mob cap eventually gets reached and your farm slows down well I want to use the area all around here but I still want to kind of prevent that slowdown so what I've decided to do is to create a lot more water which number one prevents more slimes from spawning but the ones that do spawn I will drown now obviously this is one deep in most of the spots right now but I will dig it deeper if you come over here oh I wasn't even watching <laughs> whoops uh, come on did I just have lag where'd my boat go man that is the second time this has done that to me lately what's going on pick up we've been using this furnace a little bit I used it to make all the comparators and stuff for the lights over there so I've used it you can see the levels gone down a little bit but let's jump up here hey another boat good and how many stacks should I do? Uh, do I have two stacks? I do. Let's do two stacks. God, I love this thing. It's so fast. Okay, and let's do two. Not often you get to watch a let's play where it's not boring where they smelt two fat or two stacks of cobblestone. Almost have one in there. There's our one. And our second one's filling up. Okay, next let's go get 
wool. I'll need that wool. Okay, what color wool should I get? I'm thinking I should, well, let's just get white because I am going to need white to fill in some of the spots on the um, witch farm, if you remember seeing that during the uh, time lapse video. So, oh, I need shears. Oh, I need room. Hmm. <laughs> Got a problem. Let's go like this. Get rid of some stuff for a minute. There we go. That'll work. And this farm is so much nicer to use. Uh, if you can hear me, it's kind of loud, sorry. The farm's so much nicer to use now that I don't have to go clear to the end to get these colors that are close. Very cool addition to this farm. you know, so I don't have to go clear down there. I love it. Okay, drop off our shears. Let's grab our stuff back. I did grab a lead, so let's see if we can uh, capture this cat on a lead again and fix that. Where's he at? Right there. I don't see why it would disappear. If you guys know, let me let me know in the comments why the lead disappeared. But it should just stay like that, from how I understand it. Oh man, that's not what I want. I want it like that, okay. Alright, now we're docked. Can't see it as much, but maybe since it's lower, the lead will stay. That still hasn't grown. But over here, let's see, how do I want to do this? E oh, jungle wood right there. Good, good, good. Okay. So let's make a bunch of note blocks. We'll need 21 at least. And I know that note blocks on servers don't have the best timing and it kind of messes up the music but I'm kind of taking a risk here I think that if I so <laughs> here's my thought pattern anyway let me start over blah, blah, blah. the banjo guy doesn't play it very rhythmically anyway so I think if I can make it like it's a perfect rhythm the delay might actually add to the character that I'm trying to get uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, first, let's do actually let's uh, let's make the melody first. This one I hit. So that should be the notes that I need. And let's place repeaters. One, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and one. Okay, so the next one has five notes. Actually, the the last one has five notes, but I want to put them right here. Two, three, and then this one's going to have four. And the way that I want it, if we come out of here, hit the T flip-flop. You know what? Let's build that T flip-flop. Put a block. Then place our dropper repeaters we don't need right now. So dropper, hopper going back into it, place an item in there, comparator coming out. Oh that's not right. That goes into a block. Sorry I I'm getting mixed up with the uh, random timer. They're very similar. And those go there. There we go. Then we place an item in here. And we place a redstone dust here. Oh. Redstone dust there. Let's grab that back out. Okay. So now, 
Let's put the comparator right here just so we can see. And it turns on. And it turns off. Okay, perfect. So let's put that there. We're gonna need four blocks. Do I have room to go for? Yeah. Let's put a repeater. We're gonna need, so we have a little delay in here, so this is gonna need a little tweaking, but I think that will be the delay we need. And then place a block there. And there, there, there. Not there. But there. And we want four, two, four, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, and repeater. Comparator, I think I just, yeah, I just saw one. Okay. And then repeater there, which is, so our delays, I think we want three. And that one we want one, two, three, four, five. Let's do five, three. That's not right. I didn't want that one there, darn it. I want it here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm kinda going off of uh my notes from my creative world and I built, I designed this like a few weeks ago when I first, or a couple weeks ago when I first started doing this and I just barely looked it over so I'm not too familiar with it right now. It's kind of faded a little bit but there and then we want a full six here I think will be good. Let's find out. Uh, that didn't seem like enough delay. Let's uh, let's move these up one. Put it. Try it again. Oh, this one's not gonna work. Cause that was the second half of the song. Okay, that sounded good. So the trick here, the reason we use the T flip-flop, now I can explain it, is it's going to go through just like it did, and we want it to play those first notes again, and we're going to have to move that button. Okay. So what happens, you push it, and it play. oh, I need to put, put a repeater in here. In fact, we need two repeaters. Okay. So let me show you again. So this is all off, which means when you hit this, it's going to play through once and turn all this on. So it'll play through this. But then as you see, it makes it play through it all again. But just those two times. And I'm 
kind of just tweaking the, oh, let's put it right there. Um, just tweaking the timing. Okay, and I think we can knock off one tick there. One more time. At this song. by the time I'm done, <laughs> something's wrong with you. Okay, comparator off of this one. So now we're building the last bit and we're gonna need to move these. Uh, let me go check my world, I'll be right back. Okay, so off of this, we're gonna need seven full ticks, which is one, two, three repeater. So one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three. Let's actually go like this. Four and five, like that. And then we don't need this guy over here. Oh, well, yeah, that'll work. We'll just fill that guy in. Okay, so no blocks. We have nine. We have plenty. Okay. Let's go there, 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 there. And we want to go two two four two zero. Oh, and I already messed up. Okay, we want to go two two four two zero. And zero. Okay. And then timer wise, this one is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did I make that three? Oh well. Seven, seven, two, five, six. Seven, seven, two. Let's try it. See what it does. <laughs> We're good. I love it. That was a little bit long of a delay there though. Let's try it one more time. So, let me fill this in, and I'll be right back. Okay, got that filled in, and look, our tree grew. So, I kind of wanted to soften that edge a little bit, but that's looking pretty good. I think it breaks up the shack just enough, but yet it's not too big. So now, if you grow some vines down, it'd look real good. So this is working pretty good, but now I want to put the timer, and I want him to only play his banjo at night, and at only every so often. I do not want it to repeat over and over and over. So what we can do for that is put a timer down, and just use like a seven and a half minute timer. Do I have, I thought I had daylight sensors, where'd they go? Oh, I, I really put that in a bad spot while I'm working. <laughs> hey, look, he's home. His lights are on. I need to move him. I pulled some villagers off of the Iron Golem farm, and let I'm letting them breed up right now. So we will get there. But let's get focused on this. I need somewhere exposed to the sun, and I want two water blocks in its way. So there's one, two water blocks. If we put the daylight sensor right there, that will work. The water blocks will drop the light level down, which will limit the output. So 
This puts out a signal based on how much light it's receiving. Well, water blocks block some of that light, which means this will never put out a full signal, um, which makes it so I don't have to make this redstone as long for this timer to go during night as much. Probably just confused you, but... Oh, buddy. This is dangerous work right here. Where are we at? Exactly where we want to be. Good. Now let's clear up the path to it. So, maybe right there. And let's go one more. Then throw a repeater. So now the light level has to increase three more strengths on that for it to turn off this timer. Yeah, we'll go with that and see what happens. The timer, oh, I was afraid of that. Okay, so this repeater comes off right there. Let's build our timer. Okay, let's see if I can get this timer down now. I want to come in here, let's go hopper, hopper, block, block and just an item in one of them block block is that right I think so far and comparator comparator there and comparator comparator there break those out and go hopper hopper and this one we want to fill up with a bunch of stuff let's throw some sand and dirt for now I'm gonna need that later <laughs> but like that and throw the torches now we should be toggling back and forth pull some out so it's not so long. I should just go back and forth. There we go. Okay, so that's our basic copper clock. Now if this is powered here, it should lock that block, which should lock the timer. Yep, we're locked. Okay, good, good, good. So now if we run our redstone dust, pull from there, and as you see it's daytime so this redstone is powering it so he is not going to be playing his banjo because this clock has stopped but let's continue the redstone over the redstone we want to go right into there and let's pull it off of that torch just like that okay uh, let's add a few more items and let's get rid of that to test it. And let me turn up the volume. So now it's gonna unpower? What's going on? Why aren't you unpowering? This should be turned off. What happened? Was the signal length too long and it screwed up our input? Hmm, do I need to put a... Oh, so why do we have a loop? Okay, so we do have a problem and I know what it is. The signal that comes in, ha it can be any length, but it not, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, it can't, this signal can't be longer than it takes for the first signal to get all the way through, because otherwise 
it powers the entire line like this and there's no break to re-trigger this T flip-flop. So that does mean that we have to put a um, signal shortener over here and we will I think yeah okay yeah so let's throw a signal shortener what's the easiest way to do one of those let's put it right here will that work no let's put it right there okay so if we go into there, that puts it in that block, which I don't like, but we can we can work around it. We're good. We're good. So put one right here. Take that out. Put that there. Put a repeater here. Put it eh, like that. It's good enough. And let's put a block to break this pattern. Why are you still powered? You should be off. Our signal shortener is not working. Oh, it's not on subtraction mode. That's why. Okay. So now it's got to finish the song. hearing this block that's weird we should hear that block this why isn't this does it have to have a repeater going into it is there what's going on oh <laughs> that was fail oh there's something above it that vine Okay. <laughs> um, what is this one? Four, five, six. We'll just listen. Okay, that timer works. This is a little too quick, though. So let's add some more items and see. Let's uh, uh, uh work our way out if we can. Hey, it must be nighttime. Yep, it's night. So let's put that. Well, let's hold off on that actually. <gasps> no. There's water everywhere. Such dangerous. I do dangerous work, guys. There's danger everywhere. Oh, <laughs> I'm completely underwater. I forgot about that. Can you hear it over here? Ah, and you can see him turning his light on and off. Pretty cool. And you know what? I actually want that to be a little more pronounced. So we are going to move this torch over. Where's our item frame? Where'd it fall? There we go, got it. So let's move this torch right here. Oops. There we go. So we have a little less light up here. Except for when that light's on. How do we look? 
Lights are on. Lights are off. Yeah, see, now we get a good distinct... In fact, I think I want to do that on this side, too. Yeah, let's do. Let's put, like, a window on that side. And pull that over if we can. So I was waiting for this sound to go, but it's not, which means... I probably messed up this timer. I did mess up this timer. How did I mess up this timer? Right there. And these comparators are the ones that go this way. Okay. Now well, let's go back out. And see if we can pull that blinking signal over. I want to put it right here. Let's try to put a window right there. Okay, so right there we're going to want that. And I think we'll actually have an easy way to do it. Just go there and pull up a redstone signal. Yeah, easy. Good. Or not. Um, how do I want to do that? And break the roof right there. Ain't no thing. There we go. Throw that right there. And should I get rid of that one? This is all half slabs. So the only concern I have right now is that mobs can spawn oh ba, 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 oh don't fall in the lava you know as tacky as it seems we're gonna try that just put a couple torches on the roof <laughs> I love it I love it okay let me clean up let me get the villager over and we will go on a tour through my blue bayou reproduction. Okay, looks like the sun is going down. I've made a few more changes to it, like for instance I locked the villager outside so he can't go in during the night time. Um, and planted a few more vines and whatnot, but that's about it. I have a couple other changes, but not many. But uh, let's go for a ride and see how it looks. there you have our banjo shack with hidden emerald farm so hopefully you guys enjoyed this build it was pretty fun for me I've got a lot of other good stuff planned for Shades Town so I look forward to getting more done I hope you guys have a great day and as always happy building <laughs> <laughs>